Colony 47 started in the 70s, which was very, very conservative at that time. Called at Colony 47, well, we, there was quite a few things that was called, which were a bit rude um, and a lot shorter words, um, but it, the 47 was representative of the, the location, 47 Davies Street, and Colony, um, the church itself had been dated back to the early days of the colony, but we interpreted that in a different way as a group of different people who got together to be supportive of each other, but always with an open door that we're open to people that were out there often in a, in a, a fairly hard environment that we were always there not to judge, but to help if we could. The church could be supportive and people from the church could be involved in its management, but only as one among many. So we had a committee that was set up that had atheists, agnostics, Catholics, you name it, and we're all in together, but just good people who were committed and dedicated to helping other people. The, the focus on young people was because they were the ones that came to us. Um, they, were in, they had needs and they liked what was happening. These were people that I could see that were really hurting and there was, they were being judged and, and, and some of them were just being destroyed by it. There was no reason for that to happen. And when you, you found, as soon as you tapped into it, you saw that they had so much, even the rough young kids that were coming, they had so much ability, um, so much potential, but had never been really tapped. And once you tapped into that, they were so helpful. I myself had a really bad time at, um, at school. Um, slightly overweight. I'm always told that I'd uh, never achieve anything, that I was an absolute disaster um, and I'd never achieve anything in my life. And I think what it did, it either makes you go bitter or you, you think, I don't want other people to be treated the way I've been treated. And then that becomes a depth of, hey, this is happening to a lot of people. Some of the issues that came up were with some of the young people. We had young women who um, were getting pregnant and then had to, uh, because they were almost impossible to get contraceptives. And then some of them were having backyard abortions and then some of them died from it. And to me, I just thought that was so wrong. The, um, the people who were gay were, and, uh, and other little groups like that were being treated so badly again, they were so rejected. There was only one way and that was to be a, a heterosexual marriage. So we were there to help in the good times and the bad. It wasn't always good and sometimes it was quite dangerous, but we, that's the way we went. And that's why we diversified in many ways. So Colony was far more than just working with rough kids in a, in a coffee shop. It became a whole range of different services. Even to have organisations that started there and then moved on themselves. Because I learned early, if you tried to keep every organisation or every idea yourself and run it yourself, you just can't do it, it just burns you out and it burns the organisation out. So quite often to initiate an idea and then encourage other people to run with it and they get the reward and you, you're not involved any longer, it's a really important thing to do. And uh, you can stand back and say that it, it just runs and most people wouldn't have even known that many organisations uh, had their start a colony um, and moved on and started up services that are still running today. There's something about Colony today that is still what was there in, in the early days when we were struggling and there was only a few of us. That's, that's what, what is there now is the same thing. It's um, caring for people, being open to people from different backgrounds, looking after your staff, looking after the clients, bringing the best out in people. That depth of commitment of um, doing things that take um, risk at time because you're trying new ideas, but being honest, open, and being very um, responsible to the staff that you've got working for you and listening to the clients and helping them where you can. Colony is not just one person. It's, it's a whole raft and range of people over many, many years who have committed themselves to an idea and working there. I just started it, I'm only just one minor part of it. There was really important people that brought new skills, new ideas, and I think that's been wonderful to see it. And it's just good people caring about other people and bringing their differences, but 
the differences are a strength and not a something which keeps us apart.